Hearts, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to discuss how Blue Hawaii is connected to the death of Elvis's friend Nick Adams, as well as a double homicide. All right, let's dive in. Actress Jenny Maxwell was in several movies and TV shows in the late 1950s and early 60s, and had a small part on one of the most iconic episodes of The Twilight Zone, Long Distance Call. I love The Twilight Zone. I mean, who doesn't? Do you remember this episode, the one where the boy talks to his deceased grandmother on the toy phone? Jenny plays his babysitter. I once went to Disneyland just to see the toy phone and the electric razor and other iconic props, but anyway. Jenny was actually discovered while she was still in high school by Vincente Minnelli, who was once married to Judy Garland and of course the father of Liza Minnelli. And fun fact, Jenny was also a distant relative of Marilyn Monroe. But Jenny was best known for her role as the bratty Ellie Corbett in Blue Hawaii, who memorably got a spanking on the beach from Elvis. Though she played a spoiled teen, and she was a teen at 19 during filming, she had a three-year-old child and was in the middle of a divorce. In 1970, Jenny married Irvin Roeder, an attorney who was 21 years her senior. If you saw my last video on Elvis in 1968, you might recognize Irvin's name as Nick Adams' attorney and the person who found Nick's body. Nick's cause of death was a lethal combination of drugs. Either he took this combination purposely, he did it accidentally, or someone gave him something that they didn't realize would be deadly. Either way, Nick Adams' son believes Irvin was involved. He theorizes Irvin might have given him a drink and some medication, accidentally causing his death. Some sources say Irvin was convinced that Nick Adams was murdered and had been working to try to prove it. Jenny and Irvin's marriage lasted a little over a decade before they separated. On June 10th, 1981, Jenny and Irvin were in the lobby of their condo building in Beverly Hills when they were approached by a gunman. They were both shot and killed in what police suspected was a botched robbery. To this day, no one has been arrested nor any suspects named, and it remains unsolved. So now three people in this story with an Elvis connection have died in a terrible and mysterious way. I'm not saying it's all connected, it could all just be a coincidence, but it's definitely weird. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more adventures.